let's have a, have a little listen to, to Bill. G'day, Bill. Thanks for coming and having a chat to us. Not a problem. Now, the <clears throat> reason we've got you here, um, obviously uh, you've got a daughter that's just been at the Olympics yeah. and uh, we would have loved to obviously have a chat to, to Ali, but yeah. uh, um, why not have a chat to a proud dad? So, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Um, now, tell me, um, tell me a little bit first of all about Ali's junior basketball. Where did that all start for her? Yeah, um, certainly at the local level here. Um, she started as five-year-old yep. with the um, River Murray Falcons, so that's an Indigenous basketball club here. Yep. So, yeah, she started a bit early. You're not supposed to start until about seven. Yeah. They liked her, but... We well, she, she was tall, tall at her age. Yeah, 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 she was she was tall early. Yeah. So we got her going really early, at mm. about five. So, yep. And from there, she progressed to play for the Murraybridge Bullets. Yep. So playing in some regional tournaments, representing the, our town. Yep. And then went on to district basketball through Sturt and a bit later with Eastern Mavericks. Yep. And then a, as a part of that made... Some state country teams yeah. um, from a very early age, and then was lucky enough to make some Australian teams at, at an under 17 and nice. under 19 level. Yep. So it gave her a taste, but nice and early. Yeah. So she, she saw, showed signs really early that she had a talent with, with basketball. Yeah, yeah, she did. Yeah. Did she do any other sports at all? Did she did she netball at all? Uh, all? Yeah, she was a pretty good netballer for for Ramblers. Yep. Um, yeah. So, a, yeah, really good goal attack. Yep. Um, and probably had to make a bit of a decision yeah. early whether she. Yeah, followed the which, which way she was going to go. Yeah, yeah, it was always going to be basketball. Yeah, yeah always. Yeah, 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 yeah for yeah. sure. Um, and uh, obviously, you were a pretty handy basketball yourself. And and brother Roger, he was he, he was better out of the two. You or Roger? Uh, look, I, I'll give Roger the footy nod. <laughs> yeah, uh, I think I, I had him covered in the I reckon, basketball. I'll, I'll, I'll I think go I might have him covered. I'll yeah. go with you on yeah. that. Um, now, um, pre to the Olympics, where was Ali playing uh, at the moment? Where's she been playing? Yeah, um, off the WNBL season, she'd been playing for Bendigo. Oh, yeah. Bendigo Spirit. Yep. The last three years. Yep. And just prior um, to going to the Olympics, she was playing in what they call the NBL One South, yep. and she was also playing for <clears throat> Bendigo in that competition. So that's mainly predominantly Victoria, yep. Melbourne based sides. Right, gotcha, yeah. gotcha. What was the process for her to get selected to, to play at the Olympics? How did that all work? Yeah, yeah. I guess she's been in the the three on three team for about about eighteen months now. Right. So they had a they had a they've had a couple of camps, squads of about ten. Yep. And just through that process, they've fine tuned that mm -hmm. and had different girls play in different tournaments leading up to the Olympics. Yep. And then probably um, from about three months out, they honed it into the four that uh, that represented in um, Paris. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. And so they were rotating <coughs> a forum through the through the team, uh, through the tournaments, sort of thing. Is that how it worked? Yeah, 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 yeah. There was, in more recent times, there's probably about a squad of five or six. Mm -hmm. And different girls have had managed different um, injuries. Yeah. And so some girls have come in and out and rotated. And Damon Lowry, the coach, kind of fine-tuned the side yeah, probably about three months out. Yeah, right. Yeah, 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 yeah for sure. Yeah. And um, how did you go watching it? Did we? You, did you get as excited as what I was? And and you know that thing. Were you pumped to watch it at all? Yeah. Did you get that big shot? Uh, yeah. In that was it the last game there? Was it? Uh, I think it was the China one. I think China. she she yeah. she nailed that one. That won yeah. the game. Yes. Um, so yeah, yeah. Like everyone else here, we were getting up all hours of the night um, <laughs> to watch. Yep. Um, yeah, yeah. Obviously, we were really proud. Their, their first game, in their own words wasn't great yep. against Canada. Yep. And yeah, they, they bounced back really really quickly and and they're the only team to beat the gold medal winning side over there. Yeah. So Germany Germany only lost one game and well, that was to us. Yeah. And the USA finished third and we beat them as well. So it, yeah. it showed our girls were their best were good enough. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, and um, you've obviously spoken to Ali and uh, yeah. what what feedback did she give you from the whole experience? Oh just 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 loved it from from doing the um, you know she was lucky enough to be part of the opening ceremony. Yeah. Um, Life in the village. Yep. Um, was and there's been heaps written um, about the village and the cardboard well, beds and, yeah, yeah. and this sort of stuff. Yeah. She 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 loved the whole experience. Been able to mix in with other sports. Yeah. Um, and being in a, in Australian sort of building together yeah. Um, was yeah yeah just something she's absolutely. 
Loved. Yeah. yeah. Look, it's it's just an amazing achievement, um, and not everyone can say that they're Olympian. No. Um, but your daughter can. Yeah. And uh, you'd you'd have to be just super proud of her, wouldn't you? Oh, we're we're yeah, obviously very very proud of all, all of her achievements. And this was a goal she obviously wanted to to be an Olympian. She was lucky enough a few years ago to play for Australia at the Commonwealth Games yep. at Birmingham. Yeah. But their goal from there was to, to get to the Olympics. And they only, they only qualified about five weeks out by winning a tournament in Wuhan, China. Oh, OK. So it, it came down to that late. They had to win that. Yep. And uh, they beat Canada um, in that grand final to absolutely steal a spot. Because our girls don't play as much in the three-on-three -three competition yep. as the European yep. teams do. Yep. Um, uh, because we're so far away, mm. we can't be there every no. second week yeah. and playing. Yeah. So we were playing sort of every second month. Yep. So it was a harder way to qualify for yep. Australia. Yeah. So, no, no, we're, we're obviously very, very, very proud of her and what she's done. But the thing that's been really great is um, the support from the town and the oh. region. Like yeah. me and Megan tried to duck in the coals the other day. <laughs> How long did that take you? It took us an hour and a half. We only duck in any degree with a chook and some, yeah. some rolls. <laughs> yeah. And we were, we were both in different aisles, but yeah. people just wanted to come up and have a yarn. Yeah. And, and it's nice that, you know, oh, they, it's great. They, they care and, uh, yeah. you know. Yeah, and there were some people stuff. we didn't even know. But yeah, they, they, they knew who we were yeah. and obviously yeah. they knew who Ali was. Yeah. And, yeah. It's, so it's great, isn't it? Oh, the sportsman. Yeah. Unbelievable. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Now, whoever sits in that chair. You can take the 10 questions. Oh, okay. All right. They will get to know you questions. Yeah. Do a little questions. Radio, yeah, yeah, you ready yeah. for it? Yeah. Age? Uh, 51. 51. Middle name? Mark. Uh, Favourite uh, footy position when you were playing? Uh, fullback. Full. Two people today have said fullback. Yeah. Well done. Uh, nickname? Um, uh, amongst families, it's uh, Wazza. Right. No yeah. worries. Uh, best mate at... Uh, who was your last club you played for? Uh, Ramblers. Ramblers. Who was yeah. your best mate there? Um... Ricky Sada. Ricky Sada. Uh, steak or seafood? Uh, steak. Yep. yep. Favourite TV show? Um, King of Queens. King of Queens. Yeah, no, I like that too. Uh, who did you back from the AFL? Uh, the Mighty Bombers. The Bombers. <laughs> yeah, they're going all right. <laughs> TikTok, Insta or Facebook? Uh, I only have Insta. Righty so I'll go with that. Yep. Jocks, Boxers or Commando? Uh, boxers. Boxers. Uh, single married partner? Uh, married. Yep. Married with four kids. So with four. Yeah. Two boys, two girls. Two boys, two girls. Good yeah. effort. Uh, what cade run? Uh, uh, Hyundai XL. Nice work. Yeah, good stuff. Mate, thank you. It's been an absolute pleasure. Uh, your daughter's an absolute champion. Um, congratulations, and uh, thanks for having a chat to us. Thanks for the game. Thank you. Appreciate it. Good on you. Well, there's one proud uh, dad there, guys, isn't it? Oh, it was a great interview, and I um, really enjoyed when you recorded it. Um, you hung on every word he said, because we don't know a lot about three-on-three three and the lead-ups no. and all that sort of stuff. and, and uh, how hard it was for the those guys to get the practice they needed against the, the European oh, comp. So yeah, absolutely, and, good interview. And Bill Wilson himself, you would have played against him, uh, but did you? Or not? A little bit before my time. I, I did. Did you? Yeah. Yeah. He's only ten years younger than me, so when I was finishing. Yeah. Yeah, I remember when he said full back, I, was, I remember standing him. Yeah, he, he used to go right, but I, I played against him in basketball and yeah. just an unbelievable basketball player, Bill. So yeah. Pretty sure he's up on the World Ramblers as the best of Ferris winner at Ramblers. Yeah. There you go. Good, good player. Yeah, good player. Yeah. 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 I reckon he spent uh, some time at Red Legs too from memory. Yeah, possibly. That, but, yeah. but, uh, but no, it was great. Great interview, good stuff. So uh, we appreciate Bill for, for doing that. OK, it's time to talk footy and it's uh, going to be round 15 and it's uh, Cherboys v. Tail and Ben, Lock and